2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elby, delighted to be alongside 2002 PGA Champion Rich Beam. Looking forward to the action out on the golf course today, Luke. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Time for the second shot into the first. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Oh, just missed. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Starting the round at even par. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He's currently tied for fifth. This hole is a par five. Players looking to make four here, but never disappointed with a par five. Down the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Getting ready to play their third. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Yeah, a quality shot, that. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. That gets the job done.
So no movement there. The player remains at even par. Teeing off here at the third hole. Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult par three to say the least. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, yeah, no, not where they wanted to go. This one's left. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. This would be a great up and down. Well played. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. And let's have another look at that one. Oh, yeah, look at those hands. What a chip shot. Currently one under for the round. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Out a boy, good shot. Second shot here on the fourth. Oh, well played. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Oh, so close. Putting for par. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Setting up now on a par four. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Yeah, that one will play from around 180 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. I'm going to try and hold it against the wind. And he's hit that inside the range. Now, a long range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it?
Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. And this putt to move into a tie for second. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston's a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. 12 feet to the cup coming up. This is their look at birdie. Oh, that's a ripper. And that will take him to two under. He's currently in a share of top spot. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Sitting at two under. Currently tied for top spot. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. Bad got a little out of control, I think. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Looking good. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for bogey. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Par three, bunkers left and right. Not an easy par three to say the least. Opting for the five wood. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Come on, ball. Come on. Just didn't drop. That'll sting a bit. This is a par putt. 
and will hold. Let's move on. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. And he how's that ball lying? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. One stroke off the lead. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left. Pressure packed, to say the least. Playing from around 240 yards. Just two shots behind. Going with a three wood here. Well played, mate. Trying to get to two under with this putt. It's up, it could be in. Ooh. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This is what they have left for par here. And there it is. Just one off the lead after that hole. Here we are in front of a par three. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Looks like they've got the five wood. That one should find the surface. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. 18 feet to the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. Seven feet to the cup. On a nice line. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Currently one under for the day. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Our wind's just going to knock the ball down. It's straight at the back. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one needs to kick left. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. Outside chance here for the birdie. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. 
That will drive you bats. Okay, let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're going to have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. Pretty good shot there. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Getting ready to play their third. Just one shot back now. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for second. This is their fifth shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. Ooh, that almost went down. This part of about seven feet to the hole. And there it is. Now three strokes back after that hole. This hole is a par four. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich. And it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. <laughs> Playing their fourth shot. Three strokes off the lead. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Bogey putt coming up here. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Time to see what this par four has in store. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of fun can be had here, but be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful. Couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. That's some good golf right there. From about 130 yards here. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Four right. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. And this putt to move into the top ten. Was on a good line. That's disappointing. Just three feet to the cup. This is what they have left for a par. Currently at two over par. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Par three. I don't need to mention the water on the left hand side. It speaks for itself. Going with the six iron here. That's a pretty handy shot.
Not a bad play, that one. Chance to sneak into the top five here. Oh, just missed. Putting for a par now. Job done. Let's head to the next. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Now at the 17th hole. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. This one might need to get down a little. Well struck. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 25 feet from the cup. That was a gallant attempt. This part of about six feet coming up. And in it goes for the par. And what a way to jump into the top 10. He's currently tied for 10th. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston can be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green. Big deep bunker right and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. This putt is for a score of 72. This one's online. Appears to have overcooked this one. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this next putt. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.